Welcome back to our series of training videos devoted to the Acronis Files Cloud. This series consists of several complimentary videos designed especially for the novice service providers who do not have any experience with the Acronis Files Cloud. In this video, we'll have a look at the onboarding operations performed by a managed service provider. So let's get started. The onboarding operations performed by a managed service provider include, but are not limited to, creating and managing second level business partners, customers, and folders, and creating and managing administrators and users. Let's imagine a managed service provider who recently got a new second level business partner with three customers located in the APAC countries, Japan, South Korea, and Singapore, who are highly interested in secure file sync and share services. Therefore, from the viewpoint of the Acronis Data Cloud terminology, we need to create one child business partner, three customers with localized user interfaces, group those customers into one folder, and assign them to a new child business partner. Moreover, we need to create admin accounts for the corresponding entities. First, let's create a new child business partner. Thus, press the New button and select Partner. Specify the name and language for the new partner. Press the Next button to proceed to the next step. Enable the Sync and Share service for the new business partner and specify the quota for cloud storage and the maximum number of users. Finally, create an admin account for the new business partner. For the next step, we need to create three new customers. Thus, click on the new child business partners and make sure that its name is displayed in the breadcrumbs appearing at the top of the page. Press the new button and select customer. Specify the name, language, and mode of the new customer. Press the next button to proceed to the next step. Enable the sync and share service for the new customer and specify the quotas. Finally, press the next button to create the admin account for the new customer. Let's create the other two customers using the same approach. Our customers are located in the APAC area. Therefore, it might be advisable to group them into one folder to manage them easier in the future. In order to create a new folder, press the New button and select Folder. Specify the name for the new folder and language and press the Next button. Since we are creating a new folder as a grouping criterion for customers, we need to tick all the options and make all the quotas unlimited. The idea behind this is that at the folder level, we enable the maximum capabilities of the file cloud service, whereas at the level of the individual customers, we will impose the corresponding restrictions, if needed. Press the Next button and create an admin account for the new group.
In order to assign the three customers to the new folder, we need to know the internal ID for that folder. You can get this information easily from the drop-down menu appearing next to the folder's name. Copy the internal ID of the folder and return to the initial screen. Click on one of the customers and select Move in the drop-down menu. Provide the internal ID of the folder and press the Move button. Repeat the same operation for the other two customers. Let's have a look at the onboarding of new admins and users to an existing entity, be it a customer or a child business partner. In order to create a new user account for the selected entity, press the New button and select User. Specify the user's email, login, language, and user role. It should be noted that the Acronis Files Cloud supports two types of users, administrator and user, or just user. Finally, press the Create button to complete this operation. The new user will receive an automatic email and should activate his or her account to be able to perform the corresponding operations. Repeat the same operation and create some more users. Finally, let's have a look at the different client applications available within the Acronis Files Cloud, which can be used by users to create and share content with other users. Thus, select a customer, and in the right pop-up panel, navigate to the tab Sync and Share, and press the Configure Service button. Navigate to the Admin Profile, and in the drop-down list, select Download Acronis Files Cloud Client. Here you can download on your corporate or personal devices the following applications. Desktop client for Windows or Mac, client for Android, iOS, and Windows-based devices. Please watch our YouTube trainings dedicated to the desktop and mobile clients to get more information about the installation, configuration, and usage of those clients. That's it with the onboarding. See you in the next video.